So I just came back from a nice trail run on Max. Beautiful day, sunny. We did have a little spook because 10 bikers came whizzing up behind me. And Max took off for a few, several strides, but he came back to me, so it was all okay. They should have warned me they were coming. They didn't, they were coming fast. Go slow, slowly. Good man, good. I wasn't meant to be going. I went for a trail right up where I live. I live, fortunately, right by a park. So I rode there, but that wasn't my plan for today. My plan was to trailer him over to the uh, two, one of the two nice places that I like to trail ride to, that it's like a five minute trailer ride, if that even. Uh, and when I came out, I saw this. Oh, when it rains, it pours, I guess. <laughs> it's just one more thing that happened on a day that had some other bad luck. I took Max over to my trainer. I have two trainers now because Courtney in the wintertime can't uh, accommodate me because uh, too many horses at the barn where she's in now and the arena there is kind of small. So I have another great trainer named Jen who's wonderful and she works in the most amazing indoor that's as big as my outdoor. I mean, it's incredible. So that's where I go. It's 10 minutes away. Good. And we had a lesson there and it was great. Max was really good. What you doing, bud? What are you doing? We're early. Yeah, we're early. Here for a lesson. Doing a joint lesson with my friend Lynn and her horse. <laughs> He's tired. Yeah. All done. I got home and realized when I had taken his bridle off, I had laid his bridle and his whip and um, the lead rope on that part over the wheels. <laughs> oh, I've done this before. I've left, I've lost a, a dressage whip or two. I've never lost my bridle. I'm so bummed. The bridle's easy to replace the bit because they're all newer items that I know the brands, I know what they are. But the reins were amazing. I'd had them for, God, over 20 years. I don't even know what brand they were. I'm so mad at myself. And now, today, the next day, realizing not only that happened, but I picked up a bolt and gave myself a flat tire. So now I gotta change that. Ugh. So there is the spare tire in this messy attack ring part of my horse trailer, which I haven't been in in a while. Uh, I have to get up. junk and that's my big jack. I bought that specifically for last time I had a flat tire so I'm not going to be caught, caught short-handed. I got to deal with that. How the heck do you get a hubcap off? See them laying all over the road. When you want to take them off, they won't come off. Ugh, get out there. Okay. Oh, this 
where I should have it on the ground. Ugh, let's do this. One going. It's a little stronger, though. Okay, come on. Same color as rocks, probably shouldn't leave it there.
Alright, one of these is weird. Of course. It's my, always my theory. There's always one. One, one bad one. Come on. hard work <laughs> but you know what I'm proud of myself that I can actually do it because now I know if some, anything happens to me in my truck I can change my own tire I just wasn't in the mood to do it today 